Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a comparison between the brand new Ninja Combi all-in-one multi-cooker oven and air fryer that retails for $230 against the older Ninja Speedy. This one retails is on sale now for around $200, but I have seen it even around $150. So spoiler alert really quick, just get the Combi. It's an amazing um, all-in-one cooker. Okay, so these two multi-cookers have a lot in common, but they operate differently. So the Speedy has a lid that opens up. This one has an oven door that opens up. So over here on level, this is gonna be level two. This is where you're gonna put your protein. And this is gonna be one of the major differences between the two. Down here, this is where you're gonna put your rice or your noodles and stuff. And you're gonna put the water in here also. And this is where you do the air frying also. But there's also a heating element that's gonna heat up this pan right here and there's an air fryer up above over here on the ninja it's the exact same thing it's just different here the air fryer is in the lid with that fan we also have this tray here now this is where you're going to put the like the rice and the noodles and the liquid and underneath here there's that same type of heating element that's going to heat up this and cause that to steam but you're going to have to put your proteins here and this is the biggest difference where the protein goes I like that the protein goes on this tray on this one. The, the steam that's created here from the machine comes up, it helps cook what's on the tray, but you still have the juices and the flavor in the tray. Over here, the protein is gonna be right on this and it tends to dry out a little bit. The air fryer is right here, it's cooking it. You have lots of steam coming up to help cook the protein, like you have some chicken here, but it does tend to dry out just a little bit. And you have to mix everything in with the pasta or the rice. Like you got to put everything in there. I like over here that you're not going to put everything in with the pasta and the rice. You're going to put like the broccoli and stuff in with the protein, which I think it cooks better that way. Now I did find these feet to be just a little confusing when I first started using it out. I really, so you got to store the feet when you want to turn this into an air, air fryer, you're going to store these feet. And then it sits on the very bottom. Now you can use this just like a conventional air fryer. It's going to turn that heating element on with the fan, and you're going to just air fry. I got some. I've air fried some French fries in here. It does a really good job air frying. Now earlier I cooked a dish that had rice, so we take this out and we just put our rice and water in here. And what's going to happen is it's it's going to heat the rice and the water. It's going to create steam, but it's also cooking the rice. And then it's going to turn the fan on for the air fryer to help cook the proteins. And it just does an amazing job of how it controls how it does that. Plus, another nice feature is I love this big window. Now, it does get covered up with condensation when it's doing the steaming. But after it's done steaming, this, the water will go away and you can see right in there what you're cooking. And when you're air frying, it's not using steam. You can just see exactly what you're cooking. I was absolutely amazed how big this window is. I cooked some french fries and you can see right in there the whole time it's got a night you can turn the light on let's turn it on there's a light when you're air frying you've got this out so the light will shine on there more so see, yeah see the light it shines right on there you can see exactly what you're air frying now what makes these things so similar is this switch up here you've got a, a lever for air fry or rapid cooker over here it's called combi cooker same thing about an air fry what that does is when you've got it in rapid cooker, that means you're gonna be putting, you're gonna be making steam with the water you have in here. And same with this one, the water you have in that container, it's gonna be making steam, helping cook. But when you've got it in air fryer, you're not going to be doing that. And all that is, is when it's, when it's in air fry, there's an opening there. When it's in rapid cooker, it's just got a smaller opening to hold some more of that steam in there. Okay, let's take a look at the, the control panels are very similar. They, again, depending on where the switch is, if it's an air fry, I'm gonna use these buttons here, these functions, air fry, bake, broil, pizza, toast, sear, saute, slow cook, verde. If I go over here to combi cooker, I've got these controls. I'm gonna do combi meals, combi crisp, combi bake. I cooked a, a cake in it, it did amazing. Steam, proof, and rice. Over here, same thing, depending on where this is at, is, is where that, what controls I'm gonna be using. So when I'm in rapid cooker, I can do speedy meals, steam crisp, steam bake, steam proof. When I go to air fry, I can do air fry, bake, broil, dehydrate, sear, slow cook, and verde. 
And again, they sound the same. I can change the temperature, the time. They got a start stop switch. This one does not have, the Speedy does not have a light. But you can see, I can see, you know, they sound exactly the same. Stop it, stop it. Now in Air Fry, the Speedy only goes up to 400. Over here, Air Fry does go up to 450. Okay, so here's what the bottom of both machines look like. You can see the Combi is 1,760 watts of power. So the Speedy is 1,760 watts of power also. Also on the Speedy, you'll get a lot of water up here in the lid. And when you open the lid, it's gonna drain into this thing. So once in a while, you do have to kind of empty that. Now what's important for both of these, they both come with a, a, cook, a cookbook which shows you exactly how to cook some speedy meals with the protein and everything. Over here at the Combi, same thing. They're just calling it a little bit different. It's called the Combi Meals, and these are speedy meals. The same thing, it's, help, it's using steam to cook the uh, rice or the pasta, and then it also uses the air fryer element to help cook the proteins. Now, I've cooked some very good meals in the speedy, but this Ninja Combi, I think is just doing a really, Really good job of keeping the proteins up here in this tray. Again, up there with, you can put all your flavor, your, your seasoning, everything up here can go here and it gets cooked. And then you're keeping your pasta and your rice down here with the water. The only thing I did notice, so the Speedy, I did feel like, you know, they're wanting you to, you to use the proteins, like the, the chicken to be thawed. You can put frozen in there. Um, most of the recipes tend to call for thawed chicken over here. They're really wanting you to use uh, frozen chicken. You know, they really, the recipes talk about, oh, you can use frozen chicken, frozen uh, shrimp, and it turns out amazing. It does take a little bit, I talk about five minutes longer for a combi meal compared to a speedy meal, but I think it's worth it because I found that th there was a little bit more steam generated on the combi, and I think their technology is a little bit better as far as getting the the heating elements going and cooking the proteins. But again, being able to keep the proteins and all the juices, I think that's what really did it. But it does take a little bit longer. The Speedy definitely, I did find sometimes I was having to pull the protein off early. And then the, the, the rice or the pasta down in the, in the bottom with the water, it wasn't quite done. So it had to go a little bit longer. I think, I think they've made some drastic improvements. I'm absolutely, I didn't, I was hesitant about buying this Ninja Kami because I'm like, why, why do I need another? air fryer, uh, fast cooker, but I'm just so impressed with the improvements they made. And I actually like this door. I like having a door as opposed to a lid. I felt like this one's a little bit easier to clean. Um, it did make quite a bit of mess. There is, you do get some water kind of in here, but that's easy to clean up. You just wipe up. But again, having that large window, I thought the air fryer worked great, but again, Doing those combination meals, I felt like this one did take a little bit longer, but it was worth it because it tasted so much better. Now, I do have videos on how to cook with each one of these. I'm not gonna cook meals. That can take a long time with cooking meals with both of these, but I have uh, videos on how to cook with each one of these. So I'll try to give you some best guess sizes. They call the Ninja Speedy a six quart. They don't give a quart size on the combi. You know, I think it's just more flat and more dimensional, but. You know, as far as the pasta, let's kind of go up. You're gonna put, be able to put, or not the pasta, but the protein's about two and a half inches. And you know, left to right, about 11. Front to back, about 11. So that's a square. Down here, when you're wanting to cook, you know, that's about 11 again by nine. And that's about two and a quarter inches deep. And then I do like having a door on the front. It seems like I can always have stuff cleared out in front of it, but I wanna put these under kitchen cabinets and the Ninja Speedy just does not, it's hard to go under a kitchen cabinet. Yeah, it stands right at 20 inches tall, so that will not fit under a kitchen cabinet. Again, let's take a look at its container. So with the protein, you have about nine by nine and about, oh, an inch and three quarters. Now you can take this off again. You're gonna put the, the water, down there, so that's about, you know, overall it's right at five inches, but down to where, the, right below the protein's about two and a half, and again, it's nine by nine, but it is smaller at the bottom. It's about eight and a quarter. Now, if you just want to air fry something, I got the feet down, that stands at right around four and a quarter. Now, over here, if I, I got to have the crisper tray in, so if I want to air fry, I can't go quite as well. Man, 
almost four and a quarter. That's almost exactly the same. Wow. If there is some other combi, uh, combi cooker that you would like to see these compared with, let me know in the comments down below. There's all kinds of different cookers, but this, these just, this right here struck me as like, oh wow, these are almost identical. They're calling them a little bit different, but they're doing the same thing. They're, they're really liking to use that steam technology, which I think really does help. So earlier I did cook a cake over there. I cooked a cake in the combi and it actually did a really good job with steam. So be sure and check out that video. I'm also working on my bag design for my coffee. I'm branding my own coffee, just a dad's simple sip. Fiona's gonna be on the back. There's just kind of some uh, sample pictures. It's a dark roast. Be sure and check out my Just A Dad videos group page on Facebook. I'm gonna be doing all my free giveaways there. You'll see the latest updates on the coffee, how the coffee branding's going, just kind of behind the scenes. And also my new podcast that I'm working on. So I'm going to be doing a podcast called Coffee with Dad. I'm going to be interviewing different people that work at professions. I like to hear people's story. So I'm going to try to find some truck driver, you know, like a cop, maybe a teacher, just all kinds of professions that I really, I want to honor them and just kind of hear their story. If there is some profession you would like to hear, please leave it in the comments down below. I'm working on some getting things organized and figuring out exactly what I'm going to do with it. But the podcast will be on YouTube and it'll be on all of the places you can listen to a podcast. If you're in the St. Louis area or even online, my son has a, a store called Last Mile Liquidators. It's in Arnold, Missouri, which is around St. Louis. And he buys discount and overstock of Costco and Target and he resells it. He's even got some appliances and furniture. So if you could, please check that out. I'd really appreciate it. He also has another um, business that he owns. It's called VoltEnergySolutions.com. So if you need anything, he install, he buys and installs EV chargers for if you need them for your house or for your big business, you need a lot of them installed. He knows all about the different electric vehicle charging stations, even the really fast ones for like big businesses. If, so if you need a bunch in the parking lot, definitely look him up. I think he could really help you out. And my other kid, she's in her eighth year of college. She's going to be a doctor of veterinarian. She's in her last year. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where she's going to end up being a practicing vet. I think it's in Charleston, South Carolina, but I'll definitely keep everybody up to date. Underneath the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, I really do appreciate it. that. Helps out my YouTube channel. Also hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more Ninja products compared, coffee makers, vacuum cleaners, hit the subscribe button. I'm releasing videos all the time. If there's a certain video you'd like to see made, leave it in the comments down below. Again, I, I do, do this for a full-time job, so I really do appreciate everybody's support. The Facebook group page is just a way of me giving back to everyone and keeping everybody, you know, just showing you all the new things that are coming and just show my appreciation how much I, I really do appreciate everybody's support because without you, none of this is possible. I would not be doing this today. So again, thank you so much, everybody. And if you could, please like and subscribe.